Hello, hello, hello! Hello, hello, hello! You're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm just having my Barbie fantasy. I'm going to a baby shower, actually, in an hour, so... Someone asked me to rate their dolls on Instagram, and then I had asked my entire followers on Instagram if that's something they wanted me to do um, for a video, and a lot of people said yes. I was so shook. I was literally like, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I am so flattered and honored to look at all these dolls and by in no means am I an expert in doll repaint. I just know what I like. I repaint what I like. I have my own style, I think. And um, this is just a review of the amazing dolls that you guys have tagged through the hashtag HexReacts. There's a lot, you guys. Um, let me see. Let, let me look at the tag. I know there's a lot of you guys who did doubles and triples of your own dolls. I mean, <laughs> there's no, like, limit. But I'm saying, like, you were drowning out the other people. I'm gonna go ahead and review these uh, dolls in no particular order. I'm absolutely not gonna be able to get through every single doll. I am very, very sorry about that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I will go ahead and continue on and write and review the other leftover dolls. So, fun, fresh, and um, amazing. So now, watch me not know any other adjectives but amazing LOL. So the first one is by Steven Ayala Art, and this is a repaint of Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. I love the style. I follow Steven and your growth has been amazing and it's so obvious that you are developing your own style. I love what you did with Prince Eric and I love how you blushed it. I love the orange tone. I mean, judging from the picture, I love the orange tone of the blushing. I love how matte it is with um, versus the lips. So, so shiny. It has a very pastel-y type of, like chalky type of look. Almost very watercolor-esque also. Like if this was just a picture without the clothes, it would look like a watercolor painting and it is amazing and I cannot wait to see more from you. This is so good, like amazing! Next one is Art by Sua. The doll's name is Audriel. They said that it's a monochromatic color scheme and um, she's available on Etsy, so if you want to buy it. But um, I love this. This gives me a very, like, Russian princess type of look. Very Catholic, almost. I love the color scheme so much. I love monochromatic themes. I feel like it's so clean. It has more of an impact. I love the gold and also the white combination. It's very pure. It's very Catholic. And I love how the only dark colors that you can see are the like the details on the face. So like the eyes, the lips, the eyebrows, and all that. This is literally top notch and the quality is so, 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 so nice. One thing I wished, I guess a criticism that I can give is that I wish the crown was a little more uniform. I know that's really hard to do when it comes to doll scale. But maybe we can be a little resourceful and use like, um, I don't know, I have it here, but maybe like this. You can get this like in the dollar store, maybe cut that part out, all of that, and then glue it one by one so that it's a uniform look and it's perfect for doll scale. I've used um, plastic forks before for Raven Queen's throne and a lot of her accessories. So, you know, look around your house and kind of see what you can take in order to create the effect in uniform. And that's just my one concern, but overall this doll is so amazing and if I was to rate this, this is like tens, tens, tens across the board. Next one is 3D underscore witch. This one is the one of kind Monster High Avia Trotter turned into a centaur version of Rarity from My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Like, 
Rarity Who, like Rarity Who, <laughs> they created a literal centaur version of My Little Pony, um, Rarity, and I love everything. I love the combination of purple and yellow. The skin color changing is absolutely amazing. I do see that there are like crackings in terms of like the joints of the doll, but that is completely normal when you're trying to recolor a skin. But obviously this is going from a really really dark purple skin to white, and I think you achieved it so so well, um, 3D Witch. The hair is amazing, the horns is amazing, like details, the, the mane, the tail. I do see um, a little improvement with the face. I can tell that they used acrylic paint and like brush for it and you can do that and you can gr achieve a lot of great details and you can still add those details I think. If you are not able to source really fine brushes, like really thin fine brushes, you can even go and customize it yourself. It's pretty easy. I've done it so much just because for some reason really really tiny brushes with one or two strands of hair is like $20. I don't know why the tinier the brush, the more expensive it is. Um, so yeah, the ones I use for my detailing, I actually customize that. So maybe um, to achieve more details and to input that onto the face, you could probably um, do that. So just a little tip, but overall this is amazing. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Next one is by Sketch underscore 0507. So the doll over here that they customized looks like a Claude Wolf um, base doll that they customized and reshaped with the bodies and everything. Wow, like that body is blended so perfectly, like that's crazy. I'm guessing this is an original character. The expression is nice, the scarring over here is incredible. The execution is really well, I think they made the outfit as well. Ooh, I can see the glues, the glue gun technique with the staff, which is one of my favorite techniques. What I'm trying to create texture, and I love that. This is amazing. I do wish, maybe you can go a little more, in, like, extra with the costume. Like, not design-wise and execution, but I think we could have been a little more, like, uh, added a little more grit into it. He looks a little too clean. Like, you know, he's like demonic or like a Baphomet type of character and I think we can go a little further. Like, just a little push it a little bit. Um, unless it's meant to be clean looking and very contemporary. I feel so bad like telling people like, oh you should do this, you should do that. The horns are amazing. Like everything about this doll is amazing. But I think it could be pushed a little bit. This is incredible. Tens! Tens! Tens across the board. Okay, everyone's just getting tens. The next one is the Wings Club Nerd, and they made Usagi or Princess Serenity. I've done a Sailor Moon custom before, and my biggest bumps in the road were um, how to achieve long hair and also how to create the uniform, the sailor uniform, because obviously I'm not, I did not sew. And you know, I didn't know about deluxe designs, dolls brand new look, like all these amazing people who can create these garments for me. Um, yeah, so now we have them. My version, my biggest concerns were trying to give her the long hair and you achieved it so, so well. The hair looks amazing. I think it's yarn? It looks like yarn and it looks like they used only like four strands of yarn for the hair, which looks amazing in photos. Like this is incredible. Maybe like a little, like two more, like two or three more. Could be a little more volume in the hair. The anime eyes that they did is absolutely amazing. I've never seen it work like that and executed like that really well. Usually when you do anime eyes on Playline dolls, they're not made for that type of eye. Um, but they did it. Oh my gosh, hold on. <gasps> I think this is a Winx doll. Like, I don't think this is a Monster High. Oh my gosh, that changes everything. Wow. Oh, duh. <laughs> the Winx Club Nerd, duh! Okay, it's a Winx, it's a Winx doll. The um, embroidery look over here is by Galoo or Puffy Paint, which I appreciate because that's something that I would have done. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, tense, tense, tense across the board. <laughs> Meow.
This one is by Klaus Tamburini. Um, I love it. This is a full-blown original character, I think. Um, I'm guessing it's the original character. But wow, the color scheme is amazing. A little bit Christmassy. But it also gives me, like, a very European type of look. The face-up is so, so cool. Like, the details. I love eyes that kind of go slanted down. It has, like, a very, like, sad, like, very, like, innocent type of look for me. I love the scar over here, the scar effect. The freckles are so natural looking. It looks realistic. The hair looks realistic. Like, doll scale-wise, it looks realistic. Like, it's insane. The crown is amazing. Like, wow. It's incredible. This is incredible. Incredible work. Oh my gosh. The next one is by Pink Cotton Candy Deluxe. Now this one is a repaint only, and I am in love with it. This is so cute. I started by just repainting my Ever After High dolls for fun, and trying to make them my one-of-a-kind type of look, and this reminds me of that so much. They restyled the hair, so it's like a perfectly clean curl for Blondie Locks, and I love that they gave her green eyes. The expression is new. It has like the kind of like aloof type of like wondering. It's very like ball jointed doll-esque. The blushing is amazing. Wow. It's everything is so 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 good. Like how they did the eyes is so detailed and you can tell. So so detailed. I love that blushing in between the nose with the added freckles. I think that is so so cool. Next one! Next one is Alacnus underscore sewer. Now this one, ooh, oh, actually a handful of dolls. Um, four dolls. I enjoy doll sculptures. It's very like scenic. They have like their own scene going on and I love that. You have a lot of freedom into doing whatever you want with them. And this is why I love Earth to Lila also. She does a lot of that sculpture-esque type of dolls and this reminds me of that. This is absolutely incredible. Like the first doll has very like futuristic, um, like motherboard type of look. Second one is very like mermaidy, very seashell like. This one, um, oddly enough, the color scheme is very fall like to me. I love the rainbow hair on this one. The other one obviously has um, g it gives me winter vibes. So this is absolutely insane. Um, one thing again I'll probably like just a tip is to focus also on um, the face up. Sometimes you can get carried away with just the overall costume especially when you're doing something big like this um, with lots of details going on with the actual doll and the body. Don't leave out the face or don't rush it. It's kind of like with drag or even cosplay. Imagine all of this but with like a blank face it just wouldn't match up, I guess, to the same um, level of everything else. So that's kind of how it is over here. Like, everything is so detailed, like, so detailed, um, in terms of, like, the background, the, the dolls themselves, the hair, the hairstyle, the props. Um, I think we can go further with the faces also. Um, this one also, I think, is acrylic paint. And like I said with the tip earlier, um, if the struggle is finding finer brushes, make your own. That would literally open up a variety of more details that you can explore within the actual pupil and the iris of the eye, eyelashes, eyeliner. Finer details like that you wouldn't think you are able to see from, from afar, but trust me, it makes a whole lot of difference. Overall, a Lachnus sewer, you get 10. 10, 10, and um, 10, 10, 10, 10, 4, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s across the board. You know, big four dolls. So this one is by Bloody Spoon, and it says that it's their very first repaint. Like, this is crazy. Like, my first repaint did not look like this. It looked like this. Like, Like, oh my gosh, like this is insane. Like the level is so up there already. Like custom outfit, body blushing, like wow, this is amazing. I love the combination of the green eyes. I love that part. I love green eyes with purple. That combination just gets to me 
It's so, so amazing. It glows really well. I can see that the left eye is a little more smudgy though than the right eye, but wow, the body blushing, the face blushing, the hand blushing, all of this is absolutely insane. Um, it says that she, it needs to definitely be redone. You guys, don't be afraid to revisit your dolls and improve them because over time you are improving. The more you do it, the more you improve. You can see my progress from the very first few dolls that I made. They're all on YouTube. So you will see literally my progress and you can decide if it was a good growth or not. Um, but this is amazing bloody spoon. You get 10, a 10, and a 10 across the board. The next one is by Jose Pablo Black Swan 97. Wow. I love this so much. I love evil characters, and I remember her from Star vs. The Forces of Evil. This is amazing. The parasol is amazing. The, the hat, the hair, the dress, everything is amazing. The way that they actually able to achieve the hair poofs are absolutely insane. Like, no other words can explain how happy I am for this character. Like, it's so, so nice. Like, the face is absolutely incredible. The gloves are amazing. It's a two, two texture gloves. The hands are painted and then the forearm is pleather fabric. That's amazing. I love that combination. It's very clean. It's very realistic. I wonder if the parasol actually opens. Like, wow, this is absolutely insane. Like, Jose Pablo Black Swan, you did amazing on this one. You better... Thank you for sharing this to me. The next one is me! Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Doll Dreams 13. I see you. Uh, like, hold on. It's literally me. Oh my god! I see you! I see you! Wow, thank you for making a doll of me. <laughs> a mini me. Um, no, but this is a new doll from Doll Dreams 13. This is absolutely insane. Wow. It's like that fine line of realistic and also fantasy. Like it just meets in the middle and it is amazing. I love the dark brows. I love that eye shape, the almond eye shape. I love how dramatic the eyeliner or like the smokiness of the eyeliner is. The freckles are so realistic. The lips are so rosy. Like this is just amazing. Oh my gosh. The only thing I wish is um, I wish that the hands, at least this part is also a body blush, and I wish that they actually individually colored the headband. I think that would have really popped and made the entire doll just scream realism. Obviously the hair crown looks a little flat, and I think with added shading, added colors, that would have really take it onto a next level, but this definitely deserves tens, tens, tens across the board. Like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. You did that. Next one is Sirens and Seaweed. This is absolutely amazing. I, I think this is a Ken doll, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think it's a Ken doll. But wow, it looks, they kept it with the original aesthetic of the doll, like they didn't completely change it, but they absolutely made it like a hundred times better. The realism of it all is absolutely amazing. The eyes are popping out so much more. The eyebrows are amazing. The contouring of the face is amazing. The five of the shadows on the mustache and also the, like the chin area is absolutely amazing. The lips are so plumped. Like, wow. This is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh! And I love that added um, beauty mark over here. That is... I love beauty marks. As you can see. I'm channeling CL today and Iggy. I don't know. I'm channeling one of them. You know? I'm channeling CL. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. They're open for business this week for commission. Um, so if you're interested, go ahead and... Next one is by Art E X I E X. I don't know how to say it. I'm, 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 I feel like it's French. I'm guessing because this is very Rococo, Marie Antoinette inspired. And I love. Oh my god. I love anything Rococo, anything Marie Antoinette. Like, wow, this is absolutely insane. 
has a cage in her powdered wig. Like, her skirt has a theater. She holds her puppets. Like, this is absolutely craftsmanship. And the, like, the thinking of it all, it's like, this is mind blowing. This is absolutely insane. Like, Darlie Charming who? To me, it looks very porcelain-like. Like, wow. Like, it has a very old type of look, and I am so into that. Like, this is amazing. The uh, body is blushed also. Like, wow. Insane. Insane. Like, insane. Let them eat cake. The next one is by English Riviera. So this one is a Bratz Boys. I've never really seen a lot of Bratz Boys repaint. I have yet to do mine. Um, I'm just kind of intimidated, honestly. It's kind of like with Bratz. I'm so intimidated with them. I love what they did with the nose, like that contour, that graphic contour on one side. It really elevates the nose and really like, like, wow, this is absolutely incredible. I kind of like how it's very brown in terms of like the color scheme for the face. I don't know why. It reminds me of that um, vampire kid from Monster High. I don't know. It's because of the color scheme. <laughs> but you did amazing, English Riviera. This is so fun. I am so inspired to create my own Brad's Boys now. Oh! Oh! Ave Maria! Wow. 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 Elum Lee uh, Art. Elum Lee Art. Elum Lee Art. This is absolutely insane. I love this so much. I don't know if you guys, you probably don't know me. I love gothic stuff. I love gothic stuff. I love very dark stuff. Um, I mean, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, no, but I love, you know, Sabrina, Coven, American Horror Story, I love Asylum, American Horror Story, I love American Horror Story. I am such a coward, however, but I do like dabbling into, like, the fashion of it, the look of it. Um, but no, this is absolutely amazing. It reminds me of Coven, it reminds me of American Horror Story Asylum. This is absolutely amazing. The horns are amazing. The habit of the nun is amazing. The, the upside down cross is amazing. The face is amazing. Everything is amazing. And I think this is a skin recolor too, which is, again, amazing. Like, wow. I do wish that the blood was a little darker, kind of like how it was in the cross area and also the crying for the um, habit. I mean, it's very like watercolory to me. Um, and I wish it also traveled with the hand for some reason. I mean, I don't know. That's just my personal thing but this is absolutely amazing i put it here because i'm kind of envious i often have to kind of censor myself in terms of what i want to produce and what types of dolls i want to create and how i want to um design them and i mean these are literally up my alley and unfortunately i feel like it's not going to be well received in terms of youtube so I'd rather share light to someone who is very authentic to themselves to, to produce something this amazing. And I am so, so, so proud of this doll. I mean, it's not my doll, but I am so envious of it. It is so absolutely amazing. And I don't know, I love anything kind of religious. I love all that. I'm, I'm literally lost for words. This is amazing. Like, wow. Next one is Jackie. Oh! I follow her, I think. Yes, I follow her. She did a makeup for my Tweebles. And now she did a mini-me. Wow. The quality of the face is absolutely incredible. I love dolls like that has like a very sketch-like texture to their face paint, like the face up. This one has a very feathery eyebrows, feathery lashes, like Wow, the lips are perky. I love the lips. They have the natural um, lines to them, which I love. Her cheeks are amazing. I love the swirls. They're so goofy and they're so, so cute. I guess my only criticism is that I wish there was more sclera in the eye. And I think that would really elevate the human and mini-me aspect of this doll. 
um, unless obviously that is her style. But she has a very distinct style that mirrors how she does her actual um, makeup, and it is magic, you guys. You better, you sh sh definitely check her out. Um, I guess my only criticism also, aside from the sclera, is that I wouldn't gloss up the entire eye. I stopped glossing the entire eyes because, um, especially for Barbies or smaller scale dolls, the reflection is overbearing. Like, you can see all my reflection over here um, on the eye. Imagine that on a smaller scale. The only thing you'll see is the ring light's reflection. And so I tried to avoid that for photography reasons. And it's just kind of made my life a lot easier. I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm weird like that. Jackie, this is amazing. You are an amazing doll artist and also makeup artist. Wow. Incredible. Next one is by Solarize. Is that what it is? Underscore Solaris. Solaris. I don't know. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I've never seen a pull-up slash Barbie body combination hybrid before, and this is working for me. This is amazing. Her expression is so nice. The eye choice is amazing. The one thing I really love about pull-ups is their eyes and how you can close them, you can like look around. Like that is something I really love. The eyelashes are amazing. The makeup is amazing. The freckles is amazing. The blushing is amazing. Her tattoos on the body, on the Barbie body. She's tatted. She's an ABG if she was Asian. I don't think she is. She's tatted. She's posing. She has makeup on. Her lips are literally the shape of hearts. Like, wow. Solaris, you did this. You did this. And I am so happy. Thank you for sharing this. I am so in love. I'm... I'm about to look up more um, hybrid com like hybrids of pull-ups. Like this is amazing. It just opens up ideas. Hmm, interesting, interesting. The only thing it's so hard to customize pull-ups for me. There's a lot. Like I've customized one pull-up, and you guys, it's mechanical. Like it's a lot of like, but it is definitely fun. Like, the, the closing of the eyes, the left and right eye movement is definitely fun. So if you guys don't have a pull-up, invest in one. It's very, very fun. The next one is Sarah the Squirrel. The doll itself is amazing looking. It's very scary. It looks like a um, hospital accident. Uh, it looks like she's wearing, like, lab coat. Oh my gosh, that fingerprint on that lab coat. Attention to detail! That is detail. Amazing. That is absolutely amazing. The eyes, the blank eyes are amazing. Wow. This is... I don't know what the story is, but you can tell there's a story. Like, what happened to this doll? They, I wish the hair had a little bit blood in it, but maybe that's a little harder to see because um, it's really dark green. I mean, I'm guessing from this picture. If it's a zombie, I wish there was more than. More gore. More gore. Like, open up that skin. Um, like, yeah. But this is amazing. Like, Sarah the Squirrel, you did that. And this is absolutely incredible. Wow. Next one is, um... They changed their name. Oh my god, David Perry. I swear to god. The cat... Aura? Aura. David Perry. <laughs> this set me through the roof and back. This is absolutely amazing. This was Violet Tchotchke's coronation, like handing over the crown to Bob the Drag Queen, I think. And this was one of her iconic looks. Personally, I did not really like it on Violet. Um, I don't know, it was kind of off-brand. For her, She can do whatever she wants. I'm a stan. Um, but you know, I'm, I have my likes. Um, and I thought that the whole alien thing was very Sasha Velour, brand-wise. Like, I wish she had- I wish she kept the gown, and I wish she had, like, vintage or, like, galactic, like, 1960s type of hair with, like, a gigantic extra, um, terrestrial crown or something. Um, I feel like that would've been better. But we're talking about the doll. Amazing. I gagged over this. Recreating this is absolutely insane, and they did that. Imagine, like, the beadwork, just the beadwork of this doll's garment must have taken them so long and so many hours. Like, the jewelry, the, 
Like, oh my gosh. Creating this garment is absolutely amazing. Can you make one for me? <laughs> Can you can I recreate this violet and can you can you make me one? <laughs> ten cents ten across the board. The next one is by Did somebody mention art? Oh my god! Ow. Oh my god! That is so funny. Art 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 art. Did somebody mention art? Art 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 art. Wow. Well, that outfit is amazing, and that hair is amazing. So you did well. And you know, I bow down to anyone who can sew and create garments. Like, you're, you have magic. You have, like, you're literally magic. <sighs> but the wings is amazing. The color scheme is amazing. Like, you can't go wrong. Like, wow, this is amazing. You are so talented. And I hope to see more garments from you. Wow. Ooh, Ginger Dog 1013 giving us brats. They um, made a Bratz doll based off of Hayden Williams' sketch. This is absolutely incredible. It's literally so on point, like details-wise. Wow. So they got the Bratz action heroes, they repainted the face, I think, or maybe painted over the doll's face, which is also fine. Wow. Complete with highlight, glitter, new lipstick. Wow. Wow! New hair! New hair, crop top, wow, this is absolutely amazing, well done, Ginger Dog 1013, Chloe looks so good, and this like, brown cow, stunning, wow, it's really like on point with Hayden's sketch. Next one is Kita Seki, very first doll. I can't, I can't do this, like. My gosh, like, what the hell? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, <laughs> I just don't understand why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, if you know how I feel, why would you show me that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation, like, you know I'm not happy. You know, I'm trying to be a good person, but it's like, <laughs> God. Oh my god, like this is insane. First doll outfit high pony lashes Amazing this is stunning like wow you're amazing this is absolutely amazing hooray for you for your first doll I wish my doll looked like that you guys these first dolls that you guys do are Absolutely amazing. This is my breath. It's over there. My breath is... But, um, yeah, this is absolutely incredible what you did. And I am so, so amazed. Wow. I don't wanna play. Want my life to be over. You guys all deserve a round of applause. This is amazing. It was so fun looking at all of your dolls. And I was so shook, like shook to the core that you guys even submitted that and you want my feedback. Um, I hope that some of my tips are constructive. But um, yeah, thank you so much for submitting all of your dolls. There are so much more left. I only covered a few of them for this video. Um, so if you want me to continue for a part two, go ahead and click over here at the eye. Um, to like a poll to see if you guys want me to do a part two of this. But I hope you had fun. I had so much fun looking at them, reviewing them, getting very, very inspired. One thing that I have learned throughout my journey, I guess, here is that every time you are doing something, every time you're drawing, every time you are creating art, you are improving and you are growing. And so that may take a day, that may take two days. But one thing you have to remember, at least for me, um, is to try something new all the time. I also think that's how you're going to find your own personal style, which is very important when you are trying to establish your own personal art. But it's also okay to find inspiration and use that into your art. 
you know? So if you're inspired by this artist and that artist, maybe try combining them and see what that baby would look like onto your doll. So stuff like that is so easy to do. For me personally, I get inspirations from anime, the drag community, the beauty community, um, fashion, um, cartoons, like literally anything that's graphic, villains. Um, but yeah, so you gotta have to find something that really interests you and that will literally translate onto the doll when you put your all into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any tips for newer artists out there for dolls or just in general art maybe. You know, let's try to help each other out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more doll content. I mean, you're already here, like might as well cut that work out and, um, you know, just be notified whenever I upload a video. But, um, yeah! Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!